Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about the simple and straightforward path if you want to have a six to seven figure skills training, sports training business, however you want to call it, private coaching business. Um, this video is for you. And if I'm in your shoes, what I would do is I would take out a notepad, jot down some notes here. And if you want to talk with me deeper, about this or specific strategies to execute in your business that you need help with, reach out to me. You'll see my phone number right below this video. This is all I do for a living. I help coaches just like you grow and scale their business. Um, I've already worked with 1500 plus coaches. Uh, our clients have done awesome over the last seven years. So if you really want to ramp things up, you'll see my number there and let's get into the video. Now, my whole thing when I think of your business or I think of someone else's business as a skills trainer is we want to make sure that we help you develop a business that is here to last. It is built to last. It is not this thing that is just this, uh, you know, business that does really good for a month and then it just goes away. Um, that is not what I'm about. I'm about longevity in this business, I am about uh, making sure that when you make changes in your business, those are permanent lasting changes. They are not these little temporary uh, things that happen. So when we think about a business built to last, I like to first start with the mentality. So the mentality of the actual business owner. So we're talking about you. All right. And when I break this down, this is often times the problem with a lot of coaches out there and it is why they are stagnant with their business is why they don't grow their business year after year it's why a lot of coaches in this industry go out of business and hate to break it to you but most coaches that start this business go out of business and in my mind it is because of this first thing i'm gonna break down here which is a clear-cut mentality and when i break this down I'm going to kind of ask some questions here that you probably want to try to answer yourself. So first it starts with who do you want to serve? So be specific with like the exact type of client that you want to work with. And to me, it doesn't matter at this point, if you're just starting your business, like you should know like the type of person you want to work with. Um, or if you are doing this, you've been doing this for a while, we need to try to develop like the perfect avatar for you. And the reason why we want to do that is because your joy as a skills trainer, as a private trainer, however you want to call it, like your joy goes through the roof when you get to work with clients that you like to work with. <laughs> uh, and I know that doesn't, I mean, it sounds so simple, but oftentimes when I talk to coaches, they're, they're working with kids that don't want to be there. They're working with, uh, with parents that are unreliable. They're working with parents that don't pay. They don't show up. So we got to start with, who do you want to serve? And then from there, it stems to who do you, who you won't serve? Like, where are you drawing the line? Like if someone does this, I'm not going to work with them anymore. And having those types of standards in your business makes all the difference. So who you want to serve, who you won't serve, have that like really ironed out. Next is what problem are you solving? Because if you aren't clear on what the problem you're solving you can't really market yourself as the person for that thing. Okay. So this is a big problem I see with a lot of, of coaches is they're, they're a mindset coach. They're a skills trainer. They're a vertical jump trainer. They are skills like they, they, they do all of these things, but they're not good at one thing. And in my opinion, like, yes, it's good to know a lot as a coach. You, you should know how to do a lot of different things with the clients that you train. But the ones who get paid the most are the specialists. I have said this literally every, almost every single video <laughs> that I've ever published. When we talk about making more money, I talk about this all the time, which is got to start specializing more with who you work with so you can become paid like the specialist. Okay. This is, it's, it is a mentality that you need to have. All right. So what problem are you solving? And does that make sense to the end user? Like, do they know that if they work with you, they're going to get this transformation? Okay. Um, next, it's how winners think long-term. 
Okay. And I'm going to give you this example so you can really understand where I'm coming from here. Okay. So I have a really big sample size of trainers. These are people that I've actually worked with. And I also talk with people that we won't work with or we haven't worked with. And what we see, the biggest difference between coaches that go on and like really succeed in this business and everyone else, it's the coaches that think long-term. And what I mean by that is if I tell that coach, like if I'm on a coaching call and I'm telling you, right, let's say I'm talking to you and I'm telling you, hey, uh, we need to, to pivot away from selling per hour and we need to like repackage your program we need to reprice it and we need to set up like certain commitment levels for your clients. And let's say I'm like, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's wrap this up. Like in the next couple hours or in the next couple of days, get back to me and I'll walk you through the plan on how we're going to get your clients to do that. Uh, winners that think long-term, they will go execute that. Like nothing. They'll get back on that next call with me and they're ready to go. People that don't think long-term, they're thinking so short-term. They're thinking, gosh, if I do this right now, I'm going to lose all my clients. Or gosh, like, I just don't know if this is going to work for me because they are so caught up with like, what's going to happen in the next week with their, with their business. They're not thinking about the next decade with their business. And here, let me tell you something crazy. At this point, like just off the top of my head, I can think of 100 individuals that I've worked with just easily a hundred people um, that make the switch from selling hourly sessions to selling upfront packages for more than $3,000. Okay. So I can think of at least a hundred people off the top of my head that have charged that much. A lot of coaches that we work with don't charge that much. They might charge under that, but there's at least a hundred that I've worked with that charge at least 3k. Uh, and they went from doing like hourly to 3k. All right, because we help them repackage their offer. This is like my bread and butter with coaches that we work with. We help you repackage your offer and help you sell it. Okay. Uh, but those coaches that did that, every single one of them, they just pulled the trigger. They were like, yes, like I know if I do this now, all of the new people that come into my business in the next three months, six months, 12 months, five years are going to be coming into this offer that is helping them become way more committed from day one. And they weren't thinking about, oh, well, if I do this, like all of my current clients are going to leave. They were they were focused on the future. They were not focused on just what's happening right now. And this is the difference. Like winners think ahead. They're not thinking just what's happening right now. Like, of course, it's important to understand what's going on right now. Like we're not in la-la land when I say this. I'm, I'm, I really do mean though, like, when you make a change now, it's built to last for the future. And this is why a lot of coaches in this industry fail. It's because they don't think beyond the next three months, the next six months. They're, they think that, oh, everything is just good right now. So I'm just going to keep doing this the way I'm doing it. And then 10 years rolls by, they haven't made any changes. And they wonder why things are still the same, All right? Or maybe they watch a bunch of webinars, bunch, they see a bunch of ads online and they get so distracted and they don't do anything, right? Uh, so winners have to adjust, winners course correct. Um, and, I, and I have here, it says million dollar plus business. So a lot of you guys, if, if I told you, hey, if we make this change right now and you're in this industry in the next five years, it could result in a million dollar gain in your business. A lot of you guys wouldn't really understand that because you're not thinking long-term. And to generate a million dollars in this business, if you just kind of take a step back and do the math, like many coaches can do that in four years, five years. Some might take longer, um, might take 10 years, but that's like making $100,000 a year for 10 years. Like, and the alternative could be working for someone else. And it's going to be hard to make a million bucks working for somebody else unless you have like a really, really high paying job, right? And I'm bringing this up because when you think long-term, like 
when I say million dollar plus business, like the amount of money that you make is going to be directly tied to how you think. Right. And there's no BS there. Like, cause if you think you're going to make a million dollars in the next month and you don't do that, then why would you continue to like work? Like if, if you have this crazy goal that you think you're going to be able to do that and you don't do it, you're just going to quit. Uh, winners stay the course. They're, they're not thinking, they're not even thinking about the million dollars. They're, they know that the money's going to, to be there when they understand who they want to serve, who they're not going to serve anymore, what problem they're solving. Okay. And they delay the gratification. And I talk about, I'm going to talk about that more at the end of this video. Okay. So that first section there is very, very clear. And it's not going to matter to me if you are a one person business or you have coaches that you hire. All right. Now, next is operations. Because this is something that most coaches overcomplicate. They uh, read way too deep into this or they're not thinking about it at all. All right. So this is why I'm creating this video. So with operations, there's a lot involved within your business. Okay. Like you're talking to parents over the phone, you're training kids at your sessions. Uh, most people are just going back and forth all week with communication, like texting, where are we training, what time, scheduling, uh, billing. Like th th there's all these things that most coaches overcomplicate. I would tell you, if you do things the way that we instruct you to, like your role within your business becomes at the end of the day, very limited. Like you start doing way less things, the things that actually matter in your business, especially when you get to the point of hiring coaches, like your whole role changes. But even if you're a one person business, you could be focusing really just on two things. And that's it, which is sales and marketing. All right. So marketing, let's start there. So marketing, it's just like, how are you getting attention? And is it working? So like, Example, if you're passing out a thousand flowers per week, are you getting clients? Um, if you're running Facebook ads, are you getting clients? If you're going out to the fields and talking to parents, are you getting like, what are you doing? And is that getting clients? If that is working, you need to keep doing it. If it is not working, we need newer strategies that are proven that will work for you. Okay. So marketing is purely getting attention, getting eyeballs. All right. It could be social media. There, there are a million and one different ways to market yourself. Um, I talked to the coach yesterday. He literally has a billboard in his city. Like he has zero social media advertising or marketing. It is all through his billboard. <laughs> right. Uh, and most coaches wouldn't even think of that. They might have yard signs, but that's not the same as a billboard. Billboard's huge. All right. So there's a lot of different things within marketing to get attention that you could be doing. The problem that we see is most coaches are just waiting. They are just waiting for referrals. They think because they have a business, people are just going to automatically flood into the business. And most coaches that make between like two to three K per month, and they never grow their business beyond that. It is because they don't have a reliable marketing system in place, not getting enough attention, not getting enough, uh, new, newer customers involved. All right. So next is sales. And when I think about sales, all it is, is closing prospects into clients. So if you're marketing, you're getting on phone calls. This is where we talk about sales. So you, you know how to take a, a prospect and turn them into a customer. This, like, I don't want to just sit here and plug my, my program, but like, this is what we do really, 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 really well with coaches. If you're getting new calls, we help you take that person, help them get really, really committed within a short period of time. So this way you're dealing with a the right type of client that wants to be there, that's actually committing their money financially before uh, they do a bunch of sessions, right? It's not this, oh, hey, we'll see you on Tuesday. Oh, next week we're gonna see you on Thursday. No, it's like everything is very streamlined. Um, and so sales, it's very simple. It's closing prospects into clients. And if that's an area that you're really, really good at, that is something that, in my opinion, sales, like understanding sales is a superpower because once you have that, you want to market more because like any coach out there that, that actually likes selling, um, 
they're going to spend a lot more of their time on marketing to get more people to a phone call. And if you don't like selling, I will tell you that is a skill that you need to learn. And if you just try to go outsource that to someone else, if they don't understand how to talk to parents, they don't understand the flow of your business, that's going to be a hard thing to outsource. So that's a that's an area of your business that is going to ultimately, like if you want to have a business built to last, there's got to be someone in your business, and it probably should be you, that knows how to sell. Okay, that's huge. Uh, next is maximizing time per hour. So if you want a business built to last, this is just, I'm just speaking from, a, uh, from actual experience here, okay? If you are doing a bunch of one-on-one -on -one training right now, there's nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of coaches who love one-on-one -on -one training, but they get it to a certain point where they get burned out. And that's because they're, they're training a high volume one-on-one -on -one sessions. And then one of two things happens. They either pivot off and they're like, okay, I'm going to get more coaches under me to do one-on-ones and they're going to run the sessions. And I know many successful coaches that I work with to this day right now that have high-end one-on-one training business and they have multiple coaches that work for them and they run one-on-one -on -one sessions all day. And these guys are doing six to seven figures per year in this industry with the one-on-one -on -one model. So it is possible, but it is not possible if it is just you running it for the next 10 years, right? It's very, very hard for you to do that, to pull these like 20 to 30 hour per week, um, per weeks of sessions. Like that's hard on your body and having a business built to last, like a temporary thing. Yes, you can do that. I did that in my business at the beginning. I was working 43 sessions a week. That, that was normal for me. I, and it, it got to a point where I was like, man, I got, I got to get myself out of this one-on-one -on -one and start doing more groups. And th those are kind of the options. It's if you want to maximize your time per hour, um, it's pretty easy to make between like 300 and a thousand dollars per hour in this business. If you have it set up the right way. And that's going to come down to either hiring out someone that can run the session for you, or you pivot more towards group training. You're servicing more kids at one time and you have a bigger impact in that hour than you would if you are just training one kid. All right. So when I say maximize time per hour, I always customize that with coaches that I work with individually, because if that's a one-on-one -on -one business, we want multiple one-on-one -on -one sessions happening within each hour. All right. If it's group training, we want multiple groups going on in one hour. Uh, if it's a camp business, we want to have a lot of stuff happening within one camp. All right. So that's where maximizing time per hour, that's, that's a kind of a customized strategy that I would want to do with you. And if you're interested in talking to me, go down below, find my number. All right. Um, and then from there, it's keeping clients long-term. So it's like keeping clients happy keeping them in your business, not just getting clients and then having them leave because a business built to last should be a business that keeps customers, right? So like example, like whether I like AT&T or not, like this is my, my phone provider. If like I've been with AT&T for like 15 years, right? I'm going to stay with them unless there's some crazy thing happens with, with their, uh, with their company where I'm forced to leave. Right. Because at this point it's, it's too much of an inconvenience. And the thing is, is like, I'm like a lifetime customer for them. And most people who pay for cell service are going to be lifetime customers. And so you need to think of your business that way. Like how am I creating lifetime customers between the ages of like eight years old and 18? Because if you have your clients stick with you year after year, you are generating thousands of dollars per year per customer. When you are dealing with clients like that, you now have a predictable way to grow this business, All right? And this is why like, I've been saying this since 2016 on this channel. You're not going to be able to have a really successful business, however you just define success, um, not going to be able to have a really successful business in this industry unless your clients are committed. And it's, it's really simple 
and it's really straight to the point, but that's just the facts. Um, I talk with coaches all the time that have a hundred plus clients, maybe 20 of them are actually committed. And these coaches are, are chasing 80 people around every single week, every month for their money, uh, for their commitment. Like there, there's, there's nothing that's holding them to be committed. And I always tell these coaches like, Hey, like you're going to be better off if you just have 20 committed people than a hundred people that you're dealing with. Cause like, this is going to be too stressful. All right. Um, and lastly, I say hire staff kind of already covered that, but if you can start to bring on staff members that can do one-on-one -on -one or group training or camps or clinics or a combination of all of those things, now you're able to really impact more kids at a higher scale within your city. And all of that stuff starts with marketing and sales. All right. Now, lastly, this is what I'm going to end on. Okay. It's delayed gratification. So the way I like to think about this is really simple, right? So I'm just going to use a personal example here that from, from a coach that I am working with right now. Okay. So this coach that I'm working with right now, I, I remember vividly, okay, vividly in 2018, he was doing $70,000 per year. Most coaches out there, like when they think about that number that aren't doing 70K, they would love to be there. Um, some of you guys watching this, you might be crushing that and you might think that's really low. So let's just remove whatever your mindset about $70,000 is, all right? But what I'm doing is I'm going to use this example, Okay. He was doing 70K. He was burned out. He was doing all the sessions. He was doing a ton of one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, and one thing he told me, he was like, look, I want to build like a real business and I don't care how long this takes. All right. And I want you to think about what he said. I don't care how long this takes. He wasn't saying, I need to do this now. I need to have this perfect business right now. He said, I don't care how long this takes. And he was like, I'm willing to invest and learn to figure out how to do this. And when he said that, I was like, okay, cool. Like, so you have the mindset that like you're willing to make changes and you want to make the changes and you know that this, you're going to have to be patient. Right. He was like, yes. I was like, okay, cool. So I expect this is probably going to take us. 30 to 60 days to make this sort of change. Cause like we had to make a lot of changes within his business, but I gave him a time frame, and we ended up doing things like within probably 42 days, like six weeks. Um, and this guy is still a client. Okay. The difference is he was doing 70 K back then. It's like 2018, 2017, 2018. Right now he's doing 600 K per year. Okay, six hundred thousand dollars per year. Since we've known each other, he's made over two million dollars, and it all started with his mindset. His mindset of how he actually thought about this business, where he wanted to be, uh, and he knew that he had a great quality product, great service for the kids that he was working with. He just needed help with a lot of the little details. And now when, when I, when I work with him one-on-one, -on -one, like it's, it's hilarious. Like when he wants to make a big change, he always says the same thing. Like, Hey, I know like when we do this, it's not going to really impact what's currently happening in the business. It's going to make a huge impact later down the road. And every time we do some sort of change within his business um, or some new strategy, it's always about that. It's about the future. It's about reaching the new clients. It's about like, like tightening the bolts even, even harder within his business to make sure he's working with the perfect type of clients. And that's the thing is like, he thinks that way. I think that way. Um, that's how I approach my business. I have approached my business that way forever at this point. Um, and that leads to the next thing though, which is surrounding yourself with people that are ahead of you. Okay. I can't tell you how important this is, uh, in every area of life, but in the training business, if you are around someone, this is how it is. If you're around someone right now, that's making 5,000 more dollars per month than you, 
you're going to realize like when you're around that person enough, you're going to realize they're probably doing like one different thing than you. And when you see what that is, you're like, Oh, like that's all I need to do. It, 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 like the light bulb goes off and you're like, okay, like I can get to that level faster because like, I've already talked to this person. I'm, I'm seeing what they're doing. Uh, that's why we have our, our coaching program. It's because like, you're going to be around people that are ahead of you. And that creates a competitive environment where you start to push yourself to that next level. And it's very hard. Like it's hard for me too. It's like, I, I'm just being real. If I'm by myself, if I'm in my own head, doubt, insecurity, like, is this idea going to work? Like, that's not good for me. When I like talk to other people about what I want to do, I'm around other successful business owners. It shows me what's possible beyond what I think is possible in my own mind, because I'm around people who maybe they've already done the thing that I want to go do, right? Or maybe I'm getting coached on the thing that I want to do from someone who's done it. Or maybe I'm seeing these people do this over and over and over again. So now I have more confidence to go do it. So being around people that are ahead of you is so important. Um, and if you want a business built to last, you need to force yourself in, into those environments. And luckily for you, if you're watching this video, we have that for coaches. In my mind, it, it's the best thing on the planet right now for anyone that's wanting to grow this type of business from people that ha actually have experienced this business. Okay. Um, there's a lot of noise online from people that are trying to do this for stuff that we do. And I, I'm not here to call anyone out or do any of that sort of stuff. I'm just here to tell you, like, we can help people who want to help themselves that think long term. All right. Um, and lastly, it's learn new skills that better businesses have that you don't. So I can pretty much guarantee that in our community, there's someone doing things at a higher level because they have the skill that you don't have yet. And you can see that skill. You can learn that skill from them. And that makes, that makes skills this really tangible thing within your business. Meaning, like, if I go learn this, how is it going to impact my business? Like, example, and I talked about this on a video, I think, two or three months ago. But for me, like, I want to learn Facebook ads. I've been learning Facebook ads. I've been, been investing into learning that skill. I've been running ads for the last almost two years. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I get my hands dirty and I like, and I realize, okay, like I got to think long-term with this. This isn't going to be some short-term thing. Uh, I know how this could impact my business when I actually learn it. And I know how this could impact a lot of coaches that we work with. Um, when I, and like really, really good at doing this. Like we help coaches with that, all right? Which is which is a new addition to to what we're going to be doing with the the trainers that we ultimately work with one on one, all right? So this is why again, like I'm not telling you to do something that I don't do. Like if I'm going to learn something new, I'm going to invest my time. I'm going to invest my money, uh, so I can go learn those skills quickly. And I'm going to be around, I'm going to try to position myself, be around people that are doing this at a high level. And because uh, I want a business built to last for myself, for my family. And if you're watching this, hopefully you want a business built to last too. So if that's you, if you have any questions for me, go down below, uh, see my number there, text me. It's the quickest way to get in touch with me. Can't wait to talk with you. Have a blessed day. Catch you later.